Hey guys, so today we're going to be making some mustard fried fish. It looks nice and golden and it was so crispy, you guys, and moist on the inside. Let's get started. So I'm going to season my fish with some Old Bay seasoning and some lemon pepper seasoning. I'm not going to put a ton of it on there because we are going to use a seasoned breading and so that already has salt in it so I didn't want to make it too salty. Be sure to pat your fish dry after you wash it because we uh, were frying this fish so we don't want a lot of moisture on it. So here's the Andy's fish breading um, that I'm using and so I'm just going to put it, put it in the storage bag. You could also use a paper bag and so I'm just putting this in there so it'll be ready when I'm um, ready to put the fish inside of the bag to coat it. And so you just put, put enough in there. Um, you can always add more if you need it. And then I'm just going to go in with some French's yellow mustard and I'm really just squirting it on here until I think it's enough but I would say it's about a fourth of a cup give or take. Um, but you really just want to massage that mustard into the fish until it's all coated on there. Um, and then you want to let it sit for a little bit. And so after you put mustard on your fish, you're going to put it, in, put it in the bag with the breading and just shake it up. I forgot to show you guys uh, me shaking it up, but I just did two pieces of fish at a time. And then I shook off the excess breading and put it in some hot oil. Now, I don't know what temperature this oil is, but I think it's supposed to be like 375. But you can simply just sprinkle a little bit of flour inside of your oil to see if it's hot enough. And, um, and then you're going to just fry it until it's golden brown, maybe about six or seven minutes or until it floats. That's what I've always been told. So whenever it looks done, that's when you take it out. And then I'm just going to dry it on. Um, I put it on some paper towels, but I did end up transferring it to a wire rack just so that my fish wouldn't get soggy. So if you have a wire rack, please put it on a wire rack so your fish doesn't get soggy. And so this is the finished product. My fish was nice and crispy. It was moist on the inside. That mustard really did help to seal in that moisture. You can serve this with some hot sauce. If you like tartar sauce, do you. But I love me some good old hot sauce. I hope you enjoy.